Right, you guys, got a quick video here for you on should you delay Windows 10 update version 1903. I am just going to give you my personal opinion on why I think you should hold off for at least two months before you start to roll out and install uh, Windows 10 update version 1903. Now, I know a lot of people are going to install Windows 10 update version 1903 and have no problems whatsoever. And of course, these people will post a comment in the comment of this video said, oh, I've been running this with no problem whatsoever and they think that everyone else is going to have the same um, experience as they've had and also another thing is because it's worked for them it's going to work for everyone else because they live in a bubble and they don't realize that everyone has got different computer hardware and different software and it affects people in different ways and uh, sometimes it's not Microsoft's fault and sometimes it's the user's fault and sometimes it's Microsoft fault. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I think you should do. Personally, my whole idea of uh, updating to the latest version of Windows 10 has always been a bad experience, especially with Windows 10 since it's been released. It's been plagued with problems and bugs and update issues and stuff like that throughout the entirety of its lifespan so far. So what's gonna be different in this uh, circumstance? I would say edge with a bit of caution and wait for at least two months before you start rolling out this update. Now I've seen a lot of texts uh, suggesting install it now and I've also seen a lot of articles online that say you know it's coming and this update is a lot better than the previous version and it, it could well be. But let me just tell you a few things that I think you should do. First off, I think you should wait until it's available to the general public. Don't jump the gun and try to install uh, the latest version of Windows 10 1903. Now, there's no point because it's for the inner ring of people inside the Insider Pro uh, Preview program. So it's not actually released to the general public as of yet. Yes, you can get it early by signing up to their Insider program and then you'll be able to get the installation for that and then install it onto your system. I would not install this on your main rig as of yet because it hasn't been completely fully released and even when it has been fully released there could be some uh, bugs and some issues uh, with the actual update itself so I would hold off generally for a couple of months until I know that all the problems have been ironed out and then I'd roll out the update myself. Now uh, that's the way I've always done things because this is a major update it's not just a simple little update uh, it is a big uh, installation uh, of uh, this new operating system so that's the way I would uh, approach this. So let me go through some things that I think you should be doing uh, before you roll out this update, okay? So first off, I would automatically wait until the update is available to the general public, as I've already mentioned. The second thing I would do is make sure that you've got at least 20 gigabytes of available space on your drive, which is your C drive, which has Windows on it, or the drive that has Windows on it in your case, normally it's C. Just make sure that you've got at least 20 gigabytes of space available, okay, ready to install, because there's been major problems with people not having enough space and rolling out that um, update. And this is for the file to be downloaded and installed on that system, okay? And this will give you plenty of room to, for maneuver. So if your drive is pretty full, then don't update because you will run into problems too. Create a full backup of your computer. Make sure you back up the system and all your data just in case something goes wrong. Believe it or not, there is a lot of times that things do go wrong and people try to roll back and then there's a problem with the rollback and then you've lost all your data and there's loads of issues. Don't rely on Microsoft to um, do a nice smooth installation of this update and rely on Microsoft to put all your data back on your computer. That is your responsibility to back up your data on a regular basis. So make sure it's your important job to back up that computer before you roll out any major update, especially like the uh, version 1903. Thirdly, I would say disconnect all your non-essential peripherals on that computer, which can uh, help uh, avoid problems, you know, like uh, USB hubs and stuff like that. Just unplug them 
why you're doing an, an install of this nature because if you do uh, leave those in it can cause a problem and it has done in the past many years ago and it's always uh, been an issue but sometimes you can leave all that plugged in and you may have plain sailing and have no problems at all so please don't post in the comments section saying I left everything as is and it went smoothly I know it works sometimes but you just got to think of the masses that there could be a problem and you're trying to avoid problems when installing this update Another problem, which is number four, which is a common issue, which is security software. When rolling out updates or installations like these, they can cause problems during the update process. So what I would do is I would uninstall that security suite uh, and then reinstall it when the update process is finished. That way, it's not gonna be any sort of conflicting issues like it's trying to block installation uh, files being installed into that directory and stuff like that because security programs have got a habit of locking down certain areas and it can cause a problem when you're doing major updates or installations. The next thing I would do if you are on a laptop or maybe you're using a Wi-Fi connection, disconnect it and make sure you use an Ethernet connection. By using an Ethernet connection you're going to get uninterrupted internet speeds and it's going to come down and you're going to have no problems the problem with wi-fi is sometimes you could end up losing connection and it can cause a lot of problems so especially on laptops make sure you're using uh, a proper ethernet connection and also make sure you're on mains power another problem that rolls out with people on laptops is they're running on battery the download and installation process does take a bit of time and of course, what happens is the battery dies and, the, and it's during a critical part of the installation process. And of course, it can get corrupted and cause you problems. So make sure you're on mains power uh, if you're using a laptop, that is. But if you insist that you want to use the Windows 10 update version 1903 and you want to go ahead and install that on your system, then do so. But go and join the Insider program for Microsoft Windows and you will then be able to download it legitimately through uh, their sources rather than going on the internet and finding someone who's put a link up somewhere and downloading their sample. Do it through the right channels if you are going to do something like that, okay? And try not to install it on your main system, maybe install it onto a virtual box or virtual machine or something like that and wait for the proper official release before you install it on your main system. And that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a quick heads up video on what I think you should do. So quick recap is I would wait until it's officially released by Microsoft and rolled out to the masses through the update process. And that's what I would do. I would not rush out now and start to install it on your main system because you could run into problems and end up having an issue with it. And of course, the people that are telling you to do this uh, are very irresponsible because they're not responsible for your computer which is your responsibility and it's your uh, own responsibility to do the right thing which is wait for the official release and and then roll out that update yourself via the update method okay anyway that's about it for this video that's my personal opinion on it let me know in the comment section below what you think and uh, keep it clean and try not to uh, be too spiteful in there because you will be blocked and that will be that. Anyway, have a nice day. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.